All right, so we have um, Councilman Rice and Katz, Councilman um, Katz with us today. Can we give them a round of applause? This is a collection of um, 33 um, high achieving students, African American, Latino students. We want to close the achievement gap, we want to build leadership opportunities, um, and it's been very effective. We, we've done a lot, and so what I wanted to do is not do all the talking as well, but have our scholars um, share um, some things, some highlights that you can recall. Look at that list right there of bullet points. There are five total there. Um, all those have been you guys. Hello, my name is Isabella Santos. I am president of the group. And I think it was a big deal when we were able to hold our elections because it showed that we are really <coughs> mature enough to, to come up with reasons why we want to be elected and why we should be. Well, first off, hello, I'm Leo. Um, I ran for treasurer and I am treasurer. <laughs> and, <laughs> and so um, I, I think that the, the running for officer positions in JSPL was a big deal. I think that having students in positions of responsibility is a really good way to um, just enforce education to just help people understand what it's like to be a leader. Your, your comment about responsibility, about being a leader, that's exactly right. We need to train our students to be leaders. Yes, amen to that. <laughs> I want to talk a bit about the city hall trip. Uh, we asked questions about like uh, the mayor to the mayor of city of Rockville and uh, city councilman and it's good how we ask questions to sort of help us steer JSLP in the right direction. So I've gone to a lot of events and so is Craig for students who are in the audience and and I have never been to one that was better than, than the one that was at Rockville City Hall. You all are an impressive group no question about it. The week after we went to Rockville City Hall um, you noticed a problem um, within your community and you reached out to uh, Mayor Newton and they were just blown away with your the detail of your email response and are in the works of uh, making sure that issue was addressed so I just want to um, highlight um, Carmela and I wouldn't talk about how we're doing the tutoring and the mentoring program so we're doing that to help close the achievement gap between the other Latino and African American students at Julius West so the eighth graders have eighth grade um mentees and then the seventh graders have seventh grade mentees and we're going to start that program in about next week. Next week. <laughs> you to raise your hand if you think you as an individual can change the world. I just want to share with you a really really quick story. When I first went to Annapolis there was a young woman who was a high school student who was getting bullied in her classroom. She didn't have an appointment. She showed up in Annapolis. I still don't know. My legislative aide and I still don't know because her parents didn't drop her off how she got to Annapolis from Montgomery County. She's a Montgomery County high school student. So she had to ride multiple forms of transportation and switch off from different things to get there. And she asks us to close the door and she immediately starts crying. And she tells me about how she's being bullied in school and how uh, she you know, had thought about taking her own life, um, how uh, she wished and hoped uh, that I could do something and made me promise uh, that I would do something because she knew that although she was going to be graduating from high school and I wouldn't do anything that would be able to change for her situation, she wanted to make sure that other kids like her wouldn't have the same sorts of challenges in high school. We passed uh, one of the strongest bullying bills in the nation uh, in 2009. The governor signed it into law um, and it was because of her. She changed the landscape. Same thing as we're seeing with Parkland students. You guys have so much power and don't realize how much power you have as individuals. Seize that. Take that. Use that to make sure that we have a better world and a better place for future generations behind you. That's the responsibility that you have with the awesome power that you have. Recognize that you have that power. That is so important because that is the true basis of our democracy, is that we the people, each and every one of you, I don't care how old you are, have the power.